Using an expression pedal lets you control effects smoothly and continuously with the rocking of your foot. And when combined with the Morningstar MIDI controller, the capabilities of an expression pedal increase exponentially. With MIDI, a single expression pedal can effectively function as multiple expression pedals. You can control different individual effect parameters at any given time, and even multiple parameters simultaneously if you need. This video covers the basics and gets you up to speed with using an expression pedal with a Morningstar MIDI controller in 2024. A lot has changed since our last expression pedal video, and in this new video, we demonstrate how to connect, calibrate and program your expression pedal with the new and improved Morningstar interface. What kind of expression pedal do you need? In the past, you could only use expression pedals that have stereo TRS ports. Well, not anymore. Now you can also use expression pedals that have mono TS ports. As before, expression pedals with linear 10 to 25k ohm potentiometers still work best. A linear potentiometer will give you consistent and predictable movement across the entire range of your sweep, and also allow you to effectively use the variable response curves available on a Morningstar controller. More on that later. Once you've got your expression pedal, connect it to one of the Omni ports on your Morningstar controller. With your controller connected to the Morningstar editor, go to controller settings, configure Omni ports, and make sure the Omni port you have connected to the expression pedal is set to expression. In this case, I have the pedal connected to Omni port 1, so I'll set Omni port 1 to expression. Click on save settings and restart now. You have to do this first to apply your new Omni port settings, or else you will not be able to calibrate your expression pedal. After your controller has restarted, navigate back to Omniport settings. Expression sensitivity is set to high by default and will work well for most expression pedals. However, if you have an expression pedal that is particularly sensitive and causes value jitters even when you are not moving it, you can set this to low or medium instead. To calibrate your expression pedal, simply click on the calibrate button and your controller will go into calibration mode. The expression pedal read method will be shown. TRS expression pedals require a voltage divider read type, and since TRS expression pedals are the most common type of expression pedal, this is the default option and you can leave it at that. If you happen to be using a TS expression pedal, just change the read type to rheostat and you're good to go. The Dunlop DVP4 I have here is TRS, so I'll change this back to voltage divider. Press next, and when you see heel down, move your expression pedal all the way to heel down position and press next again. And when you see toe down, move your expression pedal all the way to toe down position and press next. The controller will show you that calibration is complete and saved. You can now make use of the full range of your expression pedal with a smooth sweep from 0 to 100%. To program an expression pedal, select your expression pedal from the preset column on the right. If your expression pedal is connected to Omniport 1, select Expression 1. If it's connected to Omniport 2, select 2 and so on. In this case, we'll select Expression 1. Now we can go on to choosing messages we want to send with the expression pedal. The fundamental use of an expression pedal with MIDI is to have it sweep between minimum and maximum CC values. This creates the same effect as if you were turning an effect knob from 0 to maximum on an effect pedal, but with your feet. To do that, we just need to select the expression CC message type. You'll see two options, linear and custom response. Linear is the one you want most of the time and will give you, well, a linear response as you move your foot. Next, choose the CC number you want to send. This is extremely easy with the Morningstar MIDI dictionary. Click on Open MIDI dictionary and choose the function you want to control. In this case, I have the Big Sky connected, so I would like to control the reverb mix with my expression pedal. So I can go ahead and select that and click Apply. To have full control over the entire range of the mix knob, I'll keep the minimum value at 0 and maximum value at 127. You don't always have to do this, you can set whatever minimum and maximum values you like. That way, you can make it such that you never have a full dry or full wet scenario. But for this example, I'll keep the full range. Finally, I need to choose which MIDI channel to send the expression messages on. I've got the Big Sky set to MIDI channel 2, so I'll select that. As you can see, it's really a breeze because I can name my MIDI channels under my controller settings on the editor. That way, I will never forget which MIDI channel each of my pedals are on. Now let's hit save preset and see what our expression pedal does. With the rocking of my foot, I now have control over the reverb mix on the Big Sky, regardless of which Big Sky preset is active. 
Take note that expression pedal presets are bank specific. So if I leave this bank, I will no longer have control over reverb mix. If you want all banks to have the same expression pedal settings, click on copy preset and triple click the paste button to paste to all banks. Going back to the custom response option we saw earlier on, you now have the ability to select custom response curves for each expression message. That means your expression pedal can respond differently depending on what effect you are controlling. For example, you could have a linear response for parameters such as gain and volume, and a logarithmic curve for wah control, which is how wah pedals are typically designed. As you can see here, when I control gain on the HX Stomp, it moves linearly with my expression pedal position. But when I sweep to control a wah effect, the toe end of the expression pedal produces a much larger effect on the effect parameter, even if I don't travel that much. Our upcoming video will be about advanced expression pedal features on Morningstar controllers. Everything we've covered today is just the basics, and there's so much more that we have to show you. So get subscribed if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video.